welcome to our PE Hangout. What I first want to do is I want to go over some exercises that most of you have seen before, but just to kind of remind you of the names of them so that you'll be able to use some of these exercises to make up an exercise game that you can keep changing and using and it'll just be kind of a fun way to be active while you're stuck at home. So um, first one's obvious, I'll do the cardio category first. So remember cardio, these are the ones that are good for your heart because they're continuous and they make you breathe hard and they make your heart beat faster. So um, one example is an easy one, run in place. That can be a nice slow jog, that can be a really fast sprint. It's up to you what level you do it at. We've got march in place, which is another one that you can march faster, you can march higher, you can do smaller marches, so you can vary that one too. Jumping jacks, we all know. And then mummy jacks. Mummy jacks, our feet are jumping forwards and back while our arms are out like a mummy. So you can alternate your arms above as you're alternating your feet. So those are mummy jacks, so that's a fun kind of different one. Individual jump rope, always a good one. You can throw in some tricks too if you like. We have uh, leg swings where you just stand and you just swing your legs from side to side. We have the heel walk where you just try to walk on your heels and each time you would take a step on your heels would count one. Uh, air punches, just like boxing in the air. And you could have one, two be a one. So you'd be counting by twos or you could count each punch as one. And then we have a slide and clap. So you can just step to the side and clap, step to the side and clap, step to the side and clap. And so that's our cardio category. And then we have our leg strength category. We've got squats. Remember, I'm gonna do them sideways, because remember when you do your squats, you wanna have your feet a little bit apart and you wanna bend your knees, but you wanna to try to keep your knees over your feet so it's like you're lowering your bottom back into the chair. So you're lowering yourself down as you're squat, doing your squats. So you don't wanna go down like this, that's not good for your knees. So you wanna keep your knees above your feet and lower your bottom in the back like you're in a chair and try to keep your back straight. Then we have lunges. Again, you wanna be careful on your knees, so I'll do them sideways. So when you lunge, you don't want to have your knee go out over your foot. So you want to keep this kind of angle right here. You don't want to go out like that. So you want to be back with your weight over your knee. And you can just alternate your legs on your lunges. You can just alternate as you go down. And then we have mountain climbers. Best way to do these in a small space so that you don't kick anybody or upset any of your pets is to alternate your feet forwards and back. And that way you can stay contained in a smaller space. Um, kick it only if you have enough space, but you can kick your legs all the way up as high as you can. If you want to, you can even reach out so that you're kicking up to your hand. And then we can have twist up and down, and, and up and down would count as one. So you twist yourself all the way down and all the way back up, and that would be one. And then this would be your second one, twisting up and down. So those would be our leg exercises. Then we have our arm exercises, push-ups. Remember when you do your push-ups, if you need to use your knees, that's okay, but then keep your body straight. Bend your elbows like the corners of a book and push back up. If you're doing your full body push-ups, same thing. Bend your elbows to the corner of a book, push back up. Um, next we have crab dips. So I'll stay down here for that and I'll do this one sideways too. So we're in our crab walk position. And then you just have to bend your arms so that you're dipping your body up and down, trying to keep your bottom up off the floor. So you stop right before your bottom touches the floor. So those would be crab dips. Oh, and that's another one for legs that I forgot too, crab kicks. So in this position for a leg exercise, you can kick your legs out. And then that can be a leg exercise that you can also do in a crab position. So back to arms, planky jacks. So when you do your planky jacks, I'll do them this way. Um, actually, it might be better to do them this way. So in planky jacks, your feet go apart together, apart together, apart together while you're in your push-up plank position. Uh, windmills, also in a push-up position, you roll so that you can lift one arm up and then you switch 
we'll do the other arm. So those are your windmills. Shoulder and arm circles, circle those shoulders around, circle those arms around. Don't go too fast so that you don't hurt your shoulders. You wanna go nice and slow so you get a full circle. And then circle crab. So again, you're in the crab position and you're gonna take your feet all the way around in a circle. And if you're counting, each step can count one. And you can go all the way around and you can also come back. Try not to travel too far because if you're in a small space, you don't wanna bump into things or knock things over. And then our last group is the core group. We have sit-ups or crunches. Make sure you bend your knees and you wanna come up, try to keep your feet on the ground. Those will be your sit-ups. And then we have bicycle kicks. So you, the best way to do these, rather than doing them up in the air, is to stretch them out away from you and to alternate your feet kind of as if you were riding one of those recumbent bikes where people are sitting almost in a chair while they're riding. That way you're gonna get more core work than if your legs are up like this. So doing it out like that, bicycle crunches, a little better. And then we have flutter kicks. So you lay on your back, it's like you're swimming on your back. Legs are straight, you can put your hands underneath your bottom and then you just flutter, flutter, flutter with your feet. And again, you can have two be one or you can count every one, or maybe you just do them until you count to a certain number, and however many you do. Uh, belly angels. So belly angels, you're in your prone superhero position. You're gonna keep your upper body up off the ground so that you can take your arms all the way back and all the way out so they touch in front. So those would be belly angels. Each time you touch in front, you would have done one. And then the last one is another standing one for the core, elbow to knee. So you want to alternate, alternate knee to alternate elbow. And that way is another way to work your core. 